Welcome back to another video. Sometimes when you make it into the NFL, the NBA, any professional sport, you become an actor, actress, you um, become a famous rapper, you have to move a different way. I know it sucks, but you got to move a different way. You got to do different things. You can't be around the same people that you're around because stuff happened. And that's what Dallas Cowboy Kelvin Joseph found out. On March 18th, while hanging out with some friends, Boss Man Fat, what he's known as, Kelvin Joseph was as a, at a bar in Dallas on the lower Greenwood Avenue part. And they was hanging out, having fun, chilling with the homies, all that good stuff. Well, they got into a situation with another group of men. Could it have been over a female? Who knows? Could it have just been over the guy's clout Jason? Because it's like one of those where, hey, that's a famous NFL player. Man, he weak. Could they have been talking noise about him? Could that have been the cause? This tension spilled outside of the club where Kelvin Joseph, a.k.a. Boss Man Fat, and his group of, of guys, they got into a, a brawl with 20-year-old Cameron Ray and his group of guys. And it was on video. You seen it on video, them, them going at it, them doing their thing or whatever. Well, after that happened, everybody kind of spread out and went their own way, their separate ways. And Calvin Joseph jumped in a minivan SUV and drove off a black SUV. Well, that SUV let out shots, one hitting 20-year-old Cameron Gray Ray and killing him on the spot. Now Kelvin Joseph, aka Boss Man Fat, is being questioned and investigated to see if he had anything to do with this murder. Like I said, allegedly he was in the van, and allegedly that van let out shots that wound up killing. Cameron Ray so now the thing is this murder charge that could be over his head is just to sit him down for a while because with that looming you're not fitting to play for the Dallas Cowboys and you're not going to fit to play for any other else team any other team you know Ray, 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 Ray Lewis excuse me had that situation happen and he was able to bounce back but that's one in a million Usually a lot of times when this happens to these these athletes, especially a murder over their head, hey, they trying to the team is trying to get rid of them ASAP. And he he started some games, but he wasn't just no superstar on the team. So I don't know if it's looking real good for Kelvin Joseph and his career. Hopefully everything goes right for him. Prayers for Cameron Ray and his family. Sad, definitely a sad tragedy. But like I said at the beginning of this video, Kelvin Joseph can't put yourself in that situation. You got to move different. You got to have your own security. You're an NFL football player. You need security out, security out there. They could have just been starting something. Cameron Ray and his 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 team. It could have been some mess on their end. But if he would have been Kelvin Joseph prepared with his security. He could have eased out this situation and avoided the mess he's in now. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation. Is it a chance Calvin Joseph will play again with the Cowboys? Or is it most likely that he's done with the Cowboys and he could barely be hanging on to his NFL career? Like I said, y'all let me know in the comment section. Make sure y'all smash the like button. I'm out.